I never realized myself how such a small habit could have such a huge effect. Check it out. Assalamu alaikum, my Sarah masters. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're out there mastering your Sarah bit by bit. In this video, it's probably going to be a short one just to give you a great example of what I've been kind of encouraging you to do over the past year or two is small habits that you can do consistently that are going to consistently uh, help you improve and just stack up that that progress whether we're talking about spiritual financial educational mental progress whatever you're looking for whatever your goals are at this moment in your life so I was thinking about fasting, right? You know, 10 days of the Hijjah is very good to uh, fast, you know, as much as you can. And of course, uh, the day of Arafah, wow, amazing day to fast in terms of reward from Allah. Now, I was thinking, you know, how can we incorporate fasting into our life? Uh, previously, wow, it was probably three, four years ago now, uh, I, I did the Iman Glide series where I encourage people to fast one day per week. and. I started thinking about that, you know, fasting one day per week. Uh, what would that kind of add up to? Uh, it doesn't seem like much one day in seven days. Uh, it doesn't seem like too, too much. Um, and it doesn't seem, it seems quite, you know, possible, quite, quite realistic. So I thought if you do that once per week for the whole year, and then you fast Ramadan. I'm not counting Arafah, Ashura, um, six days of Shawwal, none of that. Just one day per week, and then the 30 or 29 days of Ramadan. What does that add up to? I calculated it, I found if you fasted one day per week and Ramadan, you would have fasted 21% of the year. And if you did that for your whole life, you're going to be fasting 21% of your life. Imagine how incredible that is. Imagine the rewards. Imagine the ongoing rewards for the every day, every hour, every minute you're fasting and you're fighting your desires as well. You're getting rewarded for that, inshallah. So, it's really amazing to think that one day per week, you know, make it into a habit. Yeah, on Thursdays I fast. On Mondays I fast. It's just something I do, something normal. Everyone, the, all my friends know that that's the day I'm just not going to be eating and during the day. Everyone at work knows it's normal now. It's become a routine. I've been doing this for months. I've been doing this for years. Okay, Mondays, for example, fasting every day. And then Ramadan, everyone's fasting around you. Relatively easy in that sense. And that's another 21 days you're adding. Sorry, 29, 30 days you're adding. And that is adding up to 21%. Now imagine you add six days of Shawwal, Ashura, um, Arafah, a um, few days in, in uh, the ten, first 10 days of the Hijjah. These add up. Now you're fasting a quarter of your life. So the reward is amazing. The, uh, the, uh, your ability to fight urges and desires uh, becomes stronger. You become more resilient person. You even become, I would say, a more dignified person. You're going around, whether you're with Muslims or non-Muslims, trust me, they're going to look up to you. They're going to be like, wow, this guy's resilient. This woman is resilient. They're, they, they're disciplined. They don't just follow their whatever they feel like doing. They just go and do it. No, they're, they're intentional with what they do. And then, of course, you've got the health benefits. You know, there seems to be, you know, evidence or pieces of evidence popping up here and there that fasting has a huge benefit when it comes to preventing cancer and even fighting cancer when you've, when you've already got it. So cancer-wise, amazing. Just giving your digestive system a break once a week, amazing. Uh, I mean, you could find the, the well-documented benefits of fasting on your health. So imagine those benefits stacking up week after week, fasting once a day, once a week, week after week after week. Wow, the benefits, the, the rewards from Allah. So I uh, just thought it was a really good example to show you how small habit, one day a week, you're going to get used to that, trust me. One day a week, stack it up end up fasting a fifth of your life and then potentially a quarter of your life so wow it's amazing another example i decided to calculate is what if i what if i read four days of quran every day it takes about 10 minutes uh, maybe a bit less a bit more than that 10 minutes a day reading quran and then i'm one day a week i'm gonna go a little extra i'm gonna read a whole juz okay so 20 pages and then during ramadan i'm gonna read one juz a day as many people do so what would that add up to? I calculated it would add up to around reading the Quran cover to cover four to five times per year. 
four to five times per year finishing the Quran. That's uh, every, if I know, if I understand correctly, calculate correctly, it's about two, every two point something months you're going to be finishing the Quran on average. So, wow, that's great as well. C reading the word of Allah cover to cover, re being reminded of everything Allah intended to tell us um, every few months. Wow, amazing again. And again, it's like uh, 20 pages once a week, so you're going a little bit hard. But then the, the, the rest, the other six days a week, uh, you're just it's just 10 minutes. 10 minutes reading the words of Allah, pondering a little bit on it, reading it. Just become reacquainted with it. I, I promise you, after one year of reading the Quran like that regularly, you're going to start to know, oh yeah, Allah says this. I oh, remember Allah said that. Obviously, that's if you, if you know some of the words in the Quran. Uh, but even if you just know a few key words, you understand how often Allah mentions certain concepts. So you can at least in your head understand what are the most important uh, things, messages that Allah is trying to give us because he repeats them so many times. So this has been my message. Small habits, they stack up. They end up having great effects on your life. So pick a habit today, a small habit, get it going and make it just small enough so that you continue it and you can grow it over the years. So you start fasting uh, once a week, uh, which is the minimum I would recommend because anything less than once a week, it no longer becomes a routine, which means it's actually trickier for you. So you start with one day a week fasting. Obviously, you're going to fast Ramadan. One day a week fasting. And then after, let's say, two years where you're actually doing that consistently, you could turn that to two days per week. Uh, you could turn it to this, this, this. You can add it up until who knows you're fasting three days a week, every week. So, and you know, you often lose your appetite when you get older anyway. So, subhanallah. This has been Amin with Sira Masters giving you very tactical, very practical tip on how to make solid progress with small effort. Assalamu alaikum.